Yes. Uh, this is a quick rundown with your, your boy Alqua. Um, I kind of want to do like a serious like no meme video. I don't really get to do much content creation apart from uh, the Twitch streams and the, the occasional sort of graph design. But um, I wanted to make a quick like sort of like off the cuff um, video to sort of like explain the past year and the past two years of streaming and the sort of like past or the future really of uh, what I intend to do. So um, obviously the past two years have been really good. Uh, we went from streaming a basically streaming for honor, uh four times a week, which when I look back on it is kind of a fucking shite, not a shite thing. I really enjoyed the time I did play for honor. I still will enjoy the time that I do play for Honor in the future, but it's uh, mainly going to be a game left in the past now, I guess. Um, we'll be playing a lot, a lot of it on Sundays. That'll be it. There'll be maybe Sundays or Saturdays will be maybe an hour and a half to however long I feel like continuing to play the game. Uh, I'm saying that a lot. I, I'm not used to doing these videos. I'm much more used to just like talking to people on stream and then there's no pause and there's no continuous thought. Yeah, we, we sort of transitioned away from Free For Honor in the past, uh, after about a year and a half of streaming it consistently, non-stop. I'm incredibly grateful for the opportunities that that game brought me and the growth that I got from that game because obviously um, I feel as if I wouldn't have the audience that I have right now if it wasn't for that game. So therefore, I am still incredibly appreciative to just For Honor and the entire For Honor community for what they did to me. What they did to me? What they did to me? No, what, what, what they've done for me. Um, in the sense that, like, uh, new people, um, other streamers that I've really got along with, things like people like Silver, Clutch, uh, Dilo, Hefnex, uh, Squirrel, even though he doesn't like the game anymore, and, uh, Tool, Tool as well? Tool, I guess? Tool, 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 I guess? Tool, I don't, I don't think Tool streams anymore. He's called Cozy Boy now, anyway, but still, I like Tool. Shout out to Tool, aka Cozy Boy. Um, yeah, I, I've obviously moved into other games. I went through a bit of a experimental, uh, experimentational experimentational sort of phase which was like um for about three months at the beginning of 2019 where i streamed random games that i felt like streaming and obviously that fucking killed any form of growth i had from 2018 onwards because we were quite high 2018 and then we sort of dipped a bit but obviously then i uh, i scurried back to for honor and cycled down up with uh siege mainly and i guess i'm a mainly siege streamer now um i really do enjoy siege I probably will be uh, limiting it to maybe one or two days a week because I want to... I've, I've, I've had this thing in the past where I've constantly worried about catering towards view account. And I notice if I play For Honor, view account is high. If I play anything else, view account is half of what it usually is when I play For Honor. So realistically, what I want to do is create the content I want to create. And if people like that, um, that's all well and good. There'll still be games that people like. For Honor will still be a prominent thing. Siege will still be a prominent thing. Reach will be something. And there'll be a few games added um, around the end of January. Uh, basically, I'm, I'm in a sort of like a transfer stage at the moment. I'm currently running off a PC that is about five years old. And it's not able to run anything that's new. Um, I struggled to run uh, Jedi Fallen Order, which I really enjoyed. That was a really fucking good game. I probably would go back and stream more of it and do some uh, challenge runs or like come back and pick up the old stuff. But my PC would literally die the moment I stopped streaming. Like it would fucking brick up. Um, it would ch choke up. Uh, and I couldn't really... I, I didn't really want to push this PC. This, I got... The, the day to day recording this is 2nd of January. I've got till 22nd, I believe, January. So 20 days from now until I can afford to... Uh, buy all the PC parts that I need to buy, which is a CPU, G no, CPU, GPU, PSU, motherboard, and a new case, which um, is going to cost me a bomb, but I need to buy a new PC. This thing can't run anything anymore. And if I want to stream new games, which new games I'm looking forward to playing are things like Tarkov, uh, Ghost Recon Breakpoint, Cyberpunk, obviously, in April. And I just want to produce better content. I want to be able to uh, stream whatever games I feel like without the worry of technical limitations. I want to add new things to the stream that this PC can't handle at the moment because of the CPU power, GPU power, blah, 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 blah. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm incredibly looking forward to this year. This year, I plan to do, to branch out from more than just streaming. I want to do uh, video, like YouTube content with friends. Like, if you know Charlie and Dubak, Sushi and Dubak in the chat, usually, to the mods. Um, I want to sort of branch out and maybe do, like, podcasts with them and reviews of things and skit videos obviously i understand the golden age of youtube is dead chances of making it on youtube is low but i want to create content that i'm proud of 
I went to university for three years. Um, all this sort of stuff, graph design, video editing, all that sort of stuff. And I want to put that stuff to use in a uh, fashion project sort of thing, rather than just, oh, um, I'm going to do client work. Because client work's fun. Doing stuff other people want is fun. You earn money from it. But it's not something you want to do. And I've, I've been sitting on ideas for about a year now. I just never have the confidence to do it. So uh, we're trying to put plans in motion to create new content, to create different content. And hopefully um, it all works out. Hopefully we all get an arse in gear. Hopefully um, we can arrange around each other's schedules. I'll be trying new things. There'll be streams on Wednesdays where I stream random indie games. Uh, Monday streams will be story mode. I'll probably be starting... By the time this video goes live, I think I would have started a Witcher playthrough on a Monday. Because obviously, Witcher is popular again. It's always been popular, but I, I always wanted to go back to it and I've had no motivation. But now the TV series have come out, I have a lot of motivation to go back to it. Quick tip. Obviously, um, self-improvement. Uh, I've been trying to lose weight. I succeed in losing weight, realistically. I'm um, trying to be healthier. Um, obviously, I live a very uh, sedentary uh, lifestyle um, in the sense that I do sit down a lot. I do play games a lot and I do stream a lot. And I do out of stream and sit down a lot to design things for clients and stuff like that. And I want to be more active. I have been active this past couple months, I guess. Obviously, Christmas has come up. I've been ill. I had the old thing in the summer where I had Bell's palsy where off my face was... Uh, completely disabled and technically parts of it i still have little to no movement in certain parts of my face um which will never recover unfortunately but that's something i've just got to live with um and i'm fortunate that it is my entire face is froze up i don't want to look like stroke peter griffin for the rest of my life so i'm good in that sense um yeah i'm very fortunate to be in the situation i'm in i have a family who supports where i do i have a girlfriend who supports and obviously i have you guys that you know We'll support anything I do. Like whenever you're in the stream and I'm worried about view count or I'm itching my nose a lot or um, I don't know what games to play. People are always like, oh, I'll come. I'll, I'll watch for you. you know, I'll watch watch for you regardless. Uh, which I mean, a lot of people do. And I'm incredibly sure that, and, you know, the, the fact that people continue to support me via money things every month is a massive thing. Um, it gives me money to put away. Like realistically, uh, I'd say a quarter of my computer that I'm, buying in the end of this month now is basically made up of stream contributions as dsp puts it because i don't earn a lot of money on the side realistically but i earn enough to put a pc together and obviously things uh next next probably until may i'm gonna go flat out at it um content creation wise because this will be my last sort of like the last hurrah in order to uh, try and make something of it. Because ideally, like I always say, oh, I'd never like to go full-time. I would like to have an established sort of like creation. Something that I can put my passion into and not just play video games, just play video games, just play video games, just play video games. Um, I would like to have something to be proud of that isn't a job. You know, I'd be proud of where I work in job-wise, but, you know, something that I can come home to and work on and do the things that I want to do. Which would be fucking ideal. I'm just checking my audio isn't fucked. I, I swear to God. Um, because I'm not used to recording these videos at all. Last time I recorded one of these, I scrapped it. It was last. It was the same time last year. Um, because my audio was all scrapped. But still, um, I want to just create things that I enjoy. I want to create things other people might enjoy, but I don't really care if other people enjoy them. I want to do them for me more than anything. I want to just, even if I don't make anything of it, I just want something to go. I did this. Obviously, I have the streaming. But there's other things that I feel as if I can produce, like videos, like podcasts, like reviews, that sort of thing. Um, and I've got the next six months free again because I'm just waiting to do my master's degree. I'll probably do my master's degree in April and I'll go to TwitchCon in May. Um, but there might be, I might do a little sort of like fundraiser thing from now till if people are down for that. Obviously, if you want to, where I'll, where I'll be is only me, other people. And I'll probably do some live, uh, some IRL streams and just some fucking about, basically. This TwitchCon Amsterdam, which is incredibly cheap to go to Amsterdam. Even if I don't go to the convention, it's still going to be incredibly fucking cheap. Um, the convention will probably be one of the most expensive things about it. But I would love to go to that just to... I don't know, it feels like it's legitimizing what I'm doing, not as a career, but as a hobby. You know, like, it's going to a convention where there are other people who do what you do. 
and you know you get these free items and you get to interact with other, pe other streamers other brands um yeah i just want to say thank you for the past year basically um it's been really good i appreciate um all of you i would name specific um people but i feel as if people will be left out people specifically that i think deserve to be named um because they've been from some people like finish um people like pigeon uh people like charlie uh d back when he can be there uh mike as always mike has been there from the very start even though he hasn't been very active lately um because he's been in university he still subs and he still drops in whenever he can uh that heavy guy a bunch of the new guys like stanley like panky um like panda there's there's so many people and i feel like now i'm naming these people i've left out people but just let just, just let you know, i appreciate all of you like like a family i really do um i enjoy what i do stream wise so much and it means so much to people in my content worthy to tune in regardless of what time zone you're in regardless of what you're up to like some people watch me on work which is like i find that pretty cool because obviously you're risking getting fired to watch my stream so there must be something good but i appreciate you all greatly you all are like a small family to me and we're all like a very tight-knit group also mary jane shout out mary jane um i like mary jane uh he says ugly in my chat every time the stream goes live but i appreciate you mary jane even if we do disagree sometimes which i don't i don't know if you feel we do but i feel as if we clash on that I appreciate you especially um not especially especially more than anyone else but i remember i shouldn't i shouldn't leave you up because uh you've been here for a while too um thank you all i appreciate you all greatly and i shall see you, uh this year for many streams um monday wednesday friday saturday sunday there'll be the streams and it'll be a mixture of things and in towards the end of january is when we start getting proper running Seems to be sporadic from now until January, end of January. Uh, and that's when we start getting going. I'm going to try and push as much as I can. I hope you like the redesign of the channel. I hope you like the new emotes. I hope you like the new stuff. All this all this stuff I want to make a set, essentially. I appreciate you all so fucking much. I mean the fucking world. I shall see you all this year for some really good streams. And I hope you will join me. And I hope new people will join me. Especially all the people who join me at the moment. On stream Sunday, 6 p.m. GMT Sunday the 5th, I believe. Eh, 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 bye bye. Hot right end the video.